filming a really fun video for you guys. I'm going to be telling you 10 secret Starbucks menu items for the fall and they're all pumpkin flavored. Is that not great? I, I don't know what is great if that's not great. Fall drinks from Starbucks are some of the best that they come out with the entire year. They're amazing and cinnamony and full of the season's flavors. I thought that I would show you guys 10 different secret menu drinks that you guys could order this fall. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you're excited and you love Starbucks. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. Bum, bum, talking to you guys about is called a pumpkin pie frappuccino. Pumpkin pie is very traditional dessert for Thanksgiving in the United States and I know a lot of people enjoy it and it's a great dessert for this time of year. So to order this drink all you need to do is ask for a cream based pumpkin spice frappuccino, add cinnamon dulce syrup, one pump for a tall, two for a grande or three for a venti, add cinnamon dulce sprinkles, whipped cream blended in and topped with more cream and cinnamon dulce sprinkles. If that doesn't scream fall and Thanksgiving, I don't know what does. The second drink I'm gonna be telling you guys about is called the Caramel Pumpkin Macchiato and it's a little bit of a nice fall twist on the classic caramel macchiato. If you're looking to order this drink either hot or iced, all you have to ask for is a caramel macchiato made with pumpkin spice syrup instead of vanilla and topped with pumpkin spice topping. Bum, 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 hey, hey, hey. So the third drink I'm going to be telling you guys about is Harry Potter's pumpkin juice. If you guys have had a chance to visit the world of Harry Potter at Universal Orlando, they do sell the infamous pumpkin juice. So this is basically a dupe for that. So apparently a dead on recipe for the drink is from the books and also it's great for kids and if you don't really like coffee, this is a great drink for you. To order this drink, all you have to ask for is pumpkin spice sauce, 1.5 pumps for a tall, two for a grande, and three for a venti, apple juice to the top line, and then you fill the rest of the cup with ice. For all you Harry Potter fans, this is the perfect fall drink for you. Bum, bum, menu is the pumpkin spice choco chai and again this is another fun fall twist on a really classic drink from Starbucks. So to order this drink all you ask for is a chai tea latte with an extra pump of chai. Then you add pumpkin spice syrup, one pump for a tall, two for a grande, and three for a venti. Then ask them to add mocha syrup. Again one pump for a tall, two for a grande, or three for a venti. And then top with whipped cream and pumpkin spice powder. This is a great fall option for you guys who prefer tea tea over coffee. Plus, pumpkin spice, chocolate, chai, deliciousness, it screams fall. So the fifth secret menu drink that I'm going to be telling you guys about is the fall in a cup latte. Who wouldn't love to drink fall in a cup? So to order this drink, all you need to ask for is a pumpkin spice latte. Then ask them to add caramel syrup. 1.5 pumps for a tall, 2 for a grande, and 2.5 pumps for a venti. And then if you're doing it cold instead of hot, you're going to ask for 3 pumps. Next, ask them to add chai syrup. Again, 1 pump for a tall, 1.5 pumps for a grande, 2 pumps for a venti, and 2.5 for a cold venti. Then to finish off the drink, you just want to top it off with whipped cream, pumpkin powder, and caramel drizzle. This Starbucks drink drink is the epitome of fall in a cup and definitely the one I am most excited to try this year. The sixth secret menu drink that I'm going to be telling you guys about is the pumpkin hot chocolate. Again, this is a great option for you guys who don't really like coffee, but you like either tea or again hot chocolate. Who doesn't like hot chocolate? It's like this is a prime example of taking your simple drink to the next level. Not only does this drink sound and look amazing, it's so simple to order. So all you have to ask for is hot chocolate and a pumpkin spice syrup. You'll want one pump for a tall, two for a grande, and three for a venti. Bum, bum, telling you guys about is the Starbucks Perfect Pumpkin Frappuccino. Basically to order this, all you need to ask for is a pumpkin spice frappuccino and add vanilla bean powder. Two scoops for a tall, three for a grande, and four for a venti. And now this next part is optional, but it's definitely a delicious option if you guys would like to kind of take the plunge and make this drink go to the next level. But that's basically just asking for a caramel drizzle on the inside of the cup. It kind of just adds to the look of the drink, first of all. And also it enriches the taste greatly and again brings that nice fall flavor right into your mouth. Bum, 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 hey, hey, so the next drink I'm going to be telling you guys about is the butterscotch frappuccino. 
cappuccino. Yes, it does taste as good as it sounds. It really does. Do you have to keep in mind that this drink asks for pumpkin spice sauce? And any of the drinks that um, do ask for the pumpkin spice sauce, they only are available during the fall time. So make sure you get them while you can. Not paid. I'm just obsessed with Starbucks and you feel me? Like, please, please Starbucks sponsor me. Like, that would be a dream. So all you need to ask to order this drink is for a cream base and then to add pumpkin spice sauce. One for a tall, two for a grande, and three for a venti. Next, you ask them to add caramel syrup. Again, one for a tall, two for a grande, or three for a venti. Then you add hazelnut syrup, one for a tall, two for grande, and three for a venti. And then, this is also optional, but it's definitely a delicious option, is to add whipped cream and a nice caramel drizzle on top. The next drink I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the Pumpkin Patch Latte. And everything with pumpkin in it honestly just sounds delicious and totally like fall. And the fact that this is called Pumpkin Patch Latte is so freaking cute. I love pumpkin patches and it's just so full. So basically all you need to do to order this is ask for a pumpkin spice latte and for them to steam in matcha or green tea powder. It's extra delicious and definitely takes you back to the pumpkin patch that you all visited when you were little with your mom. Like, come on, we all have these pumpkin patch pictures. Is that just me? Is that, is that just me and my mom? I don't know. telling you guys about is called the fall mashup frappuccino yes the fall mashup frappuccino so what do you think of when you think of fall apple picking leaves hay rides pumpkins well this drink is it to order this drink all you need to do is ask for a vanilla bean frappuccino and add pumpkin spice sauce one pump for a tall or a grande and then two pumps for a venti then ask them to add toffee nut syrup one half pump for a tall, one for a grande, and 1.5 for a venti. Then top with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, mocha syrup, and sea salt. So now that I've shown you guys all of these great fall secret menu drinks, I'm gonna go try one myself and take you guys along with me. So which drink do you think that I'm gonna try out of these three drinks? Comment it down below. Pause the video, comment it down below, and then keep watching to see if you're right. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Starbucks, so let's go. Okay, so I'm in the car and I'm about to be heading on to Starbucks. It is 4.58, so about five o'clock. So hopefully traffic isn't too bad, but we all know LA. I'm gonna be trying the fall in a cup latte. I think it sounded so good and it's gonna be really extra, like me ordering this. I'm gonna try the fall in a cup latte. So let's see. Oh, wow. Hmm. The extra chai gives it so much more cinnamon flavor. This is actually so freaking delicious. This is good. This is probably my favorite thing. This is better than pumpkin spice latte, not gonna lie. It's just like pumpkin spice latte on steroids. So I'll put the recipe for this one on the screen so you guys can see it if you want to order it. But mm. it's so cinnamony because of the chai, but then it kind of tastes a little bit like caramel candy, like melted caramel candy. So good because of the extra caramel. And it's just, it's, it's actually like an amazing drink did have a pretty price tag though i got a tall and it ended up being 535 because they do charge like 50 to 60 cents extra for like the extra pumps of stuff that you get so it's a little bit more expensive but it's definitely great if you want like a nice little treat i think so i mean it's delicious so how did you guys enjoy going to starbucks with me let me know in the comments below if you guys like this type of video and if you'd like to see me trying out more things or if i should make this kind of like a series and try out different things from different restaurants or different places that you guys would like to see because I do live in LA and they have a lot of different food items and drink items that you will see on Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr all the time and Pinterest. So yeah, if you guys would like to see this more, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to do it for you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'm gonna go drink my Starbucks right now. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Cicely. You should go ahead and click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. If you guys decide to try out any of these fall drinks from Starbucks, totally tweet me or Instagram me a pic so that I can see them and can talk about it because I am about to try every single one of these this fall season. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.